Hey, in today's video, we're going to show you our favorite tips and items for when your toddler or baby is sick. So Avery has been sick for the past two, two days. days. Yeah, two days. We've been dealing with that. And so we understand how stressful and annoying it can be to have a sick little baby. Not really annoying. Well, kind of annoying. Anyway, especially since this is the first time that she's ever actually been sick. Yeah. So this is our first time experiencing that. So we just thought this would be a good video to make since we've been dealing with this and maybe something we have figured out can help one of you. So the first thing we have absolutely found to be a necessity are these boogie wipes. These are hypoallergenic and alcohol free. So they're not going to burn your nose or anything like that. And honestly, when she is sneezing or coughing or just woke up from a nap, I mean, Cassie, you can say they just they work so great they really at do. cleaning up all the snot. And yeah, so we're actually gonna have links to all of this stuff in the description box of this video if you guys wanna check out anything we're talking about. Next is this Frida Baby Nose Frida. The snot sucker is what it's called. <laughs> Um, it works a lot better than one of those little bulbs that you get in the hospital. Mm. There's a part, the little piece that goes up her nose and it has a little filter in it. And then there's a part that goes in your mouth and you have to, you can suck the snot out of their nose and it won't get in your mouth like I said. And it works so much better because you're actually using the suction from your mouth instead of the little bulbs. Um, this has helped a lot along with like saline solution. Just putting up her nose and just sucking all the nasty stuff out. Yeah, because her nose has been really plugged up. And that's been the main problem is she can't really breathe out of her nose at all. So this thing really uh, really sucks those boogers <laughs> out. Next is the brat diet. That means bananas, rice, apples, and toast. Usually whenever a baby is sick, it's good to feed them lighter foods instead of the normal foods that they would eat every day. Just because, obviously because they're sick and they might not want to eat a whole lot. So just making sure that you give them, especially fruit and vegetables, build their immune system back up. And um, oranges also. Avery's been eating a lot of oranges since she's been sick, I guess just because she's lacking the vitamins from it. And I just feel like a good thing too is that Avery already likes most of these foods. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily rice, but she likes everything else. So it kind of makes it a little bit easier to feed her these things because she likes them. Yeah. So an absolute essential is to have a good thermometer. This is a brawn ear thermometer. Um, some people like the forehead ones, but we, I mean, personally, I like the ear one. I think, I don't know, it's just easier because Avery really don't mind. Like I can just walk up, stick it in her ear. Doesn't bother her at all. Kind of like trying to take it through her mouth or armpit or anything else. Yeah, that gets on her nerves. So this just kind of goes up, sticks in her ear and um, yeah. So I know personally when Avery was younger, we used to use this thing all the time. Obviously we're using it now because she's sick, but one thing to just keep in mind is that babies do not have a fever until by ear or um, rectally to 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or greater. So I used to take her temperature and it would be like 100 or 99 point something and it would totally freak us out. We'd be calling the doctor and trying to just find out what to do. And um, yeah, so just keep in mind, 100.4 or higher is a fever, nothing less. Also, um, doctors usually recommend that whenever a, like a child is younger, like whenever they're still considered an infant, it's usually better and more accurate to use a rectal thermometer just because it just gets their temperature better than an ear thermometer whenever they're that young. Thing we do like about this is that it has these little caps that pop on and off so that, you know, you don't get everybody's earwax mm -hmm. all together. So you every time you take my germs. pop that off, put a new one on and take your temperature yourself so that you don't share earwax because that's gross. Here's a tip that I've heard. I've never personally done it because this is the first time that Avery's been sick. But if you don't have a humidifier or the humidifier is just not cutting it and your baby is super sick, you can actually go in the bathroom and turn the shower on high and let the bathroom get really steamy mm. and sit on the floor with your baby and it can help break up all the mucus. Mm -hmm. Next is our humidifier. We've been using this since she's been sick and also it helps to moisten the air if it's really cold outside and you've been running the heater. It helps prevent your skin and your lips and everything from drying out. 
Also, we've been putting um, essential oils in ours. We used... Peppermint, peppermint and, and thieves. thieves. Yeah, peppermint and thieves. And it was honestly really nice for us too, even though we're not sick. It smells great and it just puts, you know, good smell in the I love air. It. I feel like it opens up my sinuses even and just helps yeah. me, especially like through the night. Mm -hmm. It's just, just smells so good. It opens up my sinuses. Hold on, another pro tip from Cassie. What did you do yesterday? Essential oils, socks? Oh yeah, I put the Young Living Peppermint Essential Oils. I rubbed it on the bottom of her feet and then put socks on her. And that's supposed to help open sin the sinuses as well. You can use lemon, thieves, and peppermint. And there's a few other ones mm. that I've read about that you can use too. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you'll like another one of our videos. Click here or here to go watch some of our other videos. And if you enjoyed this content today at all, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And we are out. Thank you. Thank you.